What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to this week's show. My name is Casey. This is Jay. <laughs> I don't think I can do that voice. <laughs> hey, man. So, uh, Casey got a bunch of teeth ripped out today. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I'm on painkillers. I only have like I think it's uh, ibuprofen, like 800 or something. It's nothing too serious. But uh, there's gonna be no beer of the week because I just don't wanna. I have fucking. I got two teeth pulled out on the other side. And they had to put stitches in me. So, uh, yeah, I, I just don't want to drink any alcohol today, to tell you the truth. Because it just sucks to drink. Uh, I have water here just in case. I've been spitting up blood all day. So, uh, yeah, sorry to anyone that uh, looks forward to the beer of the week. We don't have any. Um, I'm feeling pretty good now, though. But uh, if I do get sore, we will probably cut the show early. Um, but I'm feeling good now. So, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to have some fun until I'm in, until I'm in some pain. <laughs> And I think, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So sorry, people, again for uh, no beer of the week this week. But I should be I should be good next week. Uh, next Tuesday, I get my stitches taken out. So uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm lucky I made it here. Although I didn't, uh, you know, go through any kind of oral surgery. Oral. I oral. love that word. Yes, I had such a, a good word. Had to go get a car inspection done. That took longer than expected. And then I we fucking were... hate car inspections. Yeah. I my registration's out right now, and I got to get my car inspected at the end of the month. It is so fucking annoying. Like, why do we even have that? I just I don't get it. Like, who cares? Like, ugh, it just bothers me. And like, since I have a truck, my registration's fucking like eighty dollars instead of like forty. It's like, like if you think about it, like I have a small Dodge Dakota. Like, since there's no cab or anything like that, and it's just a truck bed. It's less material. Why is it more money? <laughs> you got a point there. I never thought about that. Yeah, I know. I don't get why trucks are, are more money to get registered. I just – it's fucking weird. I don't – it's not even 4 by 4 or anything. Yeah, and then, and then uh, <laughs> now that your rant's over there. And then I went to the grocery store because we have no fucking food in the house. And, uh, you know, I managed to, as usual, pick the slowest checkout person in the lane. <laughs> uh, I mean, she was like – Were they there retarded, going, like extra no, chromosomes? No, she was just old. No. <laughs> and she's like, boop. <laughs> Boop. She's like, Sonny, I'm going home to finger bang Boop. myself. <laughs> and she's like, this this is a frozen item. You have a bag in there that's other frozen items. You want to put it in there? Yeah, sure. Just give it to me. <laughs> See, I don't mind. Like, I don't care. Like, Me uh, neither. I'm taking it all out of the I fucking know. bag when I, I get it, home. And it's so funny, too, because I see people at the grocery store that are so fucking picky about what goes in what bag. It's like, get a fucking life, you Mountain Dew drinking mongoloids. <laughs> like, just fucking get over it, dude. Like, I don't care. And it's funny, too, because the, the cashiers must get shit for it a lot. Because when they mess up to their fucking, I don't know, is there like a strict guideline? There's probably like a secret fucking society of, like, uh, grocery baggers. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, I just – they'll apologize to me. I'm like, look, I am not picky. Just throw it anywhere. Yeah, just stick it uh, – you don't even <laughs> yeah. have to give me a fucking bag if you don't want to. Stick it in the box. Yeah, I just – I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck where it goes. I'm taking it home. I'm going to eat it and then shit it out in the toilet anyway. So who gives a fuck, dude? Well, then. Yeah, I just – I don't – well, we went from like 15 viewers to like six. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they didn't like our conversation. No, who gives a fuck, dude? Anyway, the real people are here. I see, I see Trevor's here. Ashley, my wife. Yeah, the real, the real heroes are here. <laughs> I think Rose all the year, Rose all in there or something, wasn't it? Ro Rose something. Yeah, How you uh, doing, guys? Uh, Trevor, since you're listening, uh, my friends are really interesting. I know I said this this last week, but. Uh, they're just really interested in your paranormal stuff. They want to know when the portal's closing, if it's closed, what's going on. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> that can of worms. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, did you have a – you said you had a bad day today? No, I had a fine day. It's no. just that, that couple of complications. I'm lucky I made it here on time. Yeah, I, I had a – I woke up around, like, 1130 today. And I was in the fucking greatest mood. I was listening to music, you know. I drained my balls real quick. <laughs> so next time I have sex, I'm not, you know, dumping five gallons of clam chowder in a girl's vagina. But And then I got on the road, 
And the road put me in such a fucking bad mood for some reason. And I think what it was is, is I don't know, I'm not usually up driving around like noon or whatever like that. But for some fucking reason, oversized load trucks were everywhere today. And I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying I probably got stuck behind like I'd say 20. 20 oversized loads. And I'm not talking about my ex-girlfriend here. I was going to say, <laughs> first you're talking about uh, firing off some hand chuck knuckle Dude, children. It was now ins- you're talking about massive loads. Yeah, it was insane. <laughs> it was insane. And it put me in such a sh- – someone was hauling on my way back home. This all happened going to the dentist, okay? I seen like maybe two on the way back home. The one I wasn't behind long enough. Okay, thank fucking God. But then I turn on the 220 coming off of the other 220. People around Hughesville know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um and there's another oversized load truck there, and they're carrying a fucking boat that looks like – and I'm not talking about a newer boat. I'm talking about like an old fucking boat like that Woods fucking like celebrity drowned off of. Yeah, like <laughs> like it was so old. I, it looked like the fucking um, – What's that fucking show called with the skipper and all that bullshit? Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's Island. Island. It looked like the the minnow or whatever the fuck that boat was called. The minnow. The minnow was lost. And I'm like, what the fuck is with these oversized loads today, dude? Like, Jesus Christ! It it just drove me fucking nuts. I don't know. Um, going to the dentist. I don't know what they were, but there was these big fucking cylinders on a truck. And I passed, like, seven of them. I don't know where the fuck were they were going. They had no, like, trucks ahead of them warning people. So I almost got thrown off the fucking road, like, six times. <sighs> well, then. <laughs> Sounds like you had a wonderful day. Oh, I had a horrible day. <laughs> There's all sorts of interesting shit going on over in the chat right now. Why? What's going on? Oh, the uh, the girls are talking about the portal. and <laughs> oh, really? And Duffy's out there explaining that uh, the portal's closed, but now he's got to deal with the shit that got out of the portal. So oh, Jesus. That's, uh, we, you got to keep us posted, brother. <laughs> if, if any of my ex-girlfriends got out of the portal, I'm sorry. They are the worst. <laughs> they, are the, they are worse than demons. I'll tell you that right now. Fucking serpents. Yeah, um, they'll, they'll, they'll fucking attach to you, just like the ones that he was talking about a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and uh, Chelsea, since you're watching, I got a present for you. Um, I got you a thing of Sour Patch Kids, and I ate all of the ones out of it except the blue ones. So I have a little Ziploc bag full of blue Sour Patch Kids for you. Okay, then. <laughs> she really likes the blue ones, so <laughs> I just saved them all for you. But, uh, yeah, so last week – uh. We got cut a little short because we were uh, doing something. Uh, we were running out of time. Uh, but we were going over uh, a list. I say, uh, how about finishing that? Does that sound good, Jay? Sounds good. Chelsea sounds- says she loves you, by the way. Oh, okay. I love you too, Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea doesn't know what to do because her best friend's going on a cruise that actually got canceled today because of Hurricane Irma, whatever the fuck I it's called. I think it's Tropical Storm nowadays. Ho- yeah, Jose. By the, Seiko, by the way, speaking of that, let's take a quick moment. Uh, all users, all users who have been affected, use. You know, uh, we hope you're all safe, especially you, uh, Cricket, whenever, whenever you get a chance to see this. Yeah, Cricket, and I'm sorry because Cricket, she's an awesome person that's, you know, actually got us into doing Periscope and everything like that. I can't thank her enough for that. But uh, if you're listening, Scott, uh, Cy, I'm sorry for saying good luck. <laughs> like, I message her. And I was like, hey, good luck down there. <laughs> Stay safe. And I was like, wait a minute. I shouldn't have said good luck. I was like, she's not participating in the Hunger Games. Why'd yeah. I say that? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I said stay safe. You say good luck, stay safe. I was like, may the odds be ever in your favor. Yeah, so sorry. I didn't mean that to come off that way. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully we hear from her soon. So Yeah. So, uh, she seems to be doing all right, though. Uh, anyone in the chat that knows Sai, uh, she lives in Florida, so. She seems to be doing all right. She's she's one of our patrons, so I'd hate to see it. Think that she's not getting to watch the shit she's paying for. So yeah, um, yeah. So I don't know. They they thought it was gonna be a four that when it hit Florida, but it ended up being like a two when it hit Florida. But it still did some shit. Though. Yeah, oh yeah, it still fucked shit up. Like uh, they were talking about it on the radio that uh, you know the the hurricane had sucked the water away from the yeah. From the I beaches. saw those videos. It, it just like there was no water on beaches. It just looked like some fucking fucking creeped out dry vagina that hasn't moisturized and fucking two years you mean your palms yes um but there is another tornado coming or tornado hurricane jose or whatever i saw a funny meme where it showed that jose and it just showed trump hitting a button that says wall (laughs) 
I thought that was fucking hilarious. Oh, man, Duffy, you sounded thirsty as fuck, boy. Why, Dude, I you... told her I loved her and prayed every day. Who do you say that to? Sai, I assume. Uh, I like using that word, thirsty. Mm. I know, it's a great, great word for it. <laughs> thirsty. It's like, oh, she posted up a new picture. Oh, you look so beautiful. Bitch, you thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you thirsty. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like I was saying, uh, last week we were covering uh, Playboy. Uh, Playboy magazine, they released a uh, 18 things of unspoken rules of sex. We got, I think we got to number seven. Um, so we have a couple more here that we were just going to go over because it makes a great conversation. Uh, the last one we were doing was seven. It was don't blow into the vagina. Uh, my dumb ass thought they were talking about with your mouth. But uh, now that I thought about it, I'm pretty sure they mean your semen. What the fuck was that? Oh, it's me banning somebody for jumping in our chat and speaking a different language <laughs> it makes a band noise apparently oh that's pretty cool <laughs> i just heard like this chime and i was like yes i'm having a stroke already all right so let's get on with this number eight uh number eight is if you fart while receiving a blow oh wait we already went over that yeah yeah uh number nine then uh take a pee after you have sex it'll help prevent infections well I don't know about you, but I have no option. Peeing after sex is going to happen. I know, but see, see, I don't – I'm trying to think. I don't usually pee after sex. You you do? Oh, my God, yeah. Like, uh, after about five minutes or so, that's <laughs> – Five minutes. So now we know how long Jay lasts for. <laughs> I'm saying five minutes afterwards. <laughs> I know. I just felt like making fun of you. Um, yeah, I, I know that's important for women. Uh, I have a lot of friends at women, and they always tell me, oh, they got to pee right after sex because – you know, you can get yeast infections, uh, fucking uh, urinary tract infections, and all that fucking bullshit. So I, I, I don't know about men, though, but I guess you do. I don't know. That must just be me. Yeah, Jimmy says I pee like a fucking racehorse down there. Oh, really? Yo, we got, we got somebody down here, Ira Finkelstein, who's trying to promote feet peace. Feet peace is <laughs> Finkelstein, a... Finkelstein, huh? Yeah. A Jewish person. Trying to promote something. How weird. <laughs> well, feet peace is a movement spreading positivity on social media. Well, if you're up to that, then uh, then uh, go check out Ira. Feet peace? I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Kind of like green peace, only less cool. It sounds like a fucking porno or something. Some foot fetish bullshit. <laughs> um, yeah, so number 10. Uh, let's get on number 10 here. One does not just oops in the back door. This is bullshit. <laughs> I do not agree with this one little bit. I have oopsed in the back door, but it involved much alcohol, and I didn't really know what I was doing. Exactly, exactly. I don't, I don't believe that one at all. I, I've made so many mistakes where you're either intoxicated or you're on some kind of drug. Uh, you just want Wet Willie to go to his home, you know, uh, where it's warm, um, especially if you're having sex in front of an air conditioner. Uh, yeah, I don't believe that one at all. Most of these are pretty accurate. That one, no. Men have numerous, numerous times accidentally put it in a girl's butt, and we did not mean to. <laughs> uh, Duffy says uh, feet piece is a fucking scammer. Yeah, I, I pretty well figured that. Yeah, it sounds like it. And especially because her name's Finkelstein or whatever, some Jewish person. <laughs> he responded, is not. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this could be fun to watch it play out. Yo, anybody who's got the new Periscope uh, <laughs> interface with the new chat, why does it not automatically scroll? Why do I have to keep cl clicking new message? That's, I don't know. That's, that's lame as fuck. Yeah, I don't like that. It's fucking weird. All right, let's get on to the next one here. Um, number 11, if you receive oral, you should return the favor. Absolutely. Agreed. Agreed. I absolutely agree with that. Uh, so when you get your vag eaten and, you know, it's time to suck Willy Wonka, um, no, you know, I don't feel good or I have cramps. You suck that dick. Well, that goes the <laughs> other way, too. If, if a woman has the decency to put your cock in her mouth, oh, that's... The, the least you can do is munch on that shit like, uh, like it was your fucking favorite bedtime snack. Oh, dude, it's like a reaction to me. When a girl, you know, puts, you know, my schlong in her mouth, right away I'm like, well, I'm eating pussy tonight. <laughs> it's no, it's no fucking question. That if you if you receive oral, you give oral. Don't be a bitch. Don't be a cunt. Don't be a dick. You know, put put that fucking and hell lick lick some buttholes if you have to. You know, get that tongue deep in there, like deep, like knowing what value meal she had at McDonald's earlier that day, like deep, like get that butthole. <laughs> you ever want someone to be obsessed with you? Eat their butthole. Um, 
Number 12 here. Uh, there are a lot of weird noises. Get over it. I completely agree with that. Oh, yeah. I mean, you fart, whatever. Shit yeah. happens. My favorite noise is the slap when you, like, if you both happen to, like, you know, take care, take care of your parts downstairs and do a little little landscaping, and then you get that, that mm-hmm. wet. Oh, I love it. I oh, love it. Yeah, that's my favorite. That gets me going. That's my favorite. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because, like, there's been numerous times where, like, you know, the Vag is getting, like, Niagara Falls, you know, it's just flooding everywhere, you know, you look down in your carpet, and there's a mouse in a paper boat going by saying, please stop, <laughs> um, and then, like, they'll make a farting noise, they'll queef or something like that, and the girl's like, eh. it's like, shut up, bitch, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, it is pretty funny, but, you know, it is true, during sex, you have, you have, Two parts, the ugliest parts on two people, you know, slapping against each other. It's going to happen. <laughs> oh, uh, my God. Yeah. I mean, I, I like that. Okay. We are seriously going to have to get some fucking moderators up in this. Bitch. Why? <laughs> We're getting all sorts of fucking Arabs and shit oh, are with they... their fucking squiggly letters. Oh, really? Arabs? Are we going to get bombed? Hey, hey, Rabs, if you're watching us, don't send a bomb to the computer. <laughs> they don't give a fuck what we're saying. Photo bomb. They're trying to promote some dumb shit, I'm sure. Yeah, probably Allah Akbar or whatever their god is. <laughs> oh, we're so sen- culturally sensitive, aren't we? <laughs> Fucking, uh, we, we have had an Arab that. joke. We've had a Jew joke. <laughs> uh, actually, I heard a funny, funny joke today. I told it to my mom. <laughs> it was, uh. So I had to uh, – my girlfriend broke up with me today because I had to steal her wheelchair from her. But it's okay. <laughs> she always comes crawling back. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay. So let's go here. What are we on? Um, number 11, the receive oral thing. Number 12, uh, we already did that, the weird noises thing. All right, number 13, if she says don't pull out, absolutely pull out. That is so true. It is probably some desperate woman that wants child support. Um, unless you're like me and then you can, uh, <laughs> can avoid all that shit by getting the old snippety, snippety, snippety. Yeah. Cause Jay has a vasectomy cause he's less of a man. Um, Hey, less of a man. I can, uh, fucking discriminately. I don't care. <laughs> I can, uh, I can go pound the wife any day I want without uh, any kind of, uh, pound the, wife. pound the wife anytime I want with any kind of, uh, uh, repercussions except for pa- possibly some chafing. <laughs> some chafing. Uh, I love it how you're married and you just talk talk to your wife like uh, like it's whore sex like oh, I pound her. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't uh, if you don't lay your lady down and give her give her the dull dirty dirty once in a while, man, you don't deserve your lady. That's true. That's just the way it is. I know. There's a lot of women out there that say, "Oh, I want you know love romantic sex." Sometimes you got to well, be sure. Bold. sure. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I th- I'm pretty sure uh, the, the the tenacious D said it best. Sometimes <laughs> you gotta fuck her gently. Yeah. But other times you gotta do her hard. Yeah. yeah. You got you gotta hold her down and just Chris Brown the shit out of her face. <laughs> um. <laughs> Amanda's chiming in. She says, "You don't even know." <laughs> God, my. I'm pretty God. sure I've told him. <laughs> yeah, me and Jay talk about his sex life all the time. I don't know why. <laughs> But it makes great conversation, I guess. I don't know. These people find it entertaining, apparently. Yeah, I guess. Even the Al Akbar people. <laughs> oh God, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fucking log out here so I can log back in under our name and uh... ban some people. Yeah. This is getting out of control. Yeah, it is. It's starting to get bad. I'm, I'm using my own name, but I gotta log into. Ours. I'm surprised they didn't like put a fucking curse on us yet or anything like that for talking about sex how the hell would we even know the difference if they did i, I don't know i, I, I can't don't read even, their squiggle i don't writings. even know if muslims or whatever the fuck they are have curses do they or is it just the religion there's itself is a curse <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> my teeth hurt already this sucks <laughs> well yeah it's pretty it's probably fucking karma biting you oh, in the ass for man. saying awful awful things it's true whatever the chat agrees <laughs> i can't see the chat right now i'm trying to uh, number 14, uh, if he or she asks who your fantasy fuck is, don't say his or her best friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, what you do to creep him out is say, uh, your mom. Yeah, that's what I'd probably do. I'd be like, I'd be like, why does it have to be your best friend? I'm like, can it be your favorite animal? <laughs> <laughs> we live in the middle of nowhere. Fucking jokes are funny about fucking animals because a lot of people get caught doing around here. Chelsea Nash in the chat. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, number 15. 
cut file your na- nails before fingering. Ugh. Yeah, probably, probably wise. That makes sense, but it's like I'm not a woman, so I've never had that. Like, do women like? Dude, does you that... slice that shit up. Yeah. That would be bad. Does your panty hamster get sliced a lot when a guy doesn't cut his nails? I always cut my nails because I think long nails are gross. So I've never like you know fucking Fuck. stab someone because of it. fucking Tigger's here, dude. Are you serious? Tig the neighbor joined. Tig, what's up, man? What's up, buddy? How tiggy, you doing? tiggy, tiggy. I heard you were sick. Uh, we were having a fire one night. And I messaged Tig to come out and uh, have a campfire with us, but he, uh, I guess he didn't leave his house in a week. That's how fucking sick he was. He <laughs> had the AIDS. Oh uh, yeah, everyone's got AIDS. AIDS, 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 AIDS. Um, yeah, women. I'm sorry. If that happens, uh, it must happen. A lot of playboys putting it in here. Uh, Chelsea says my friend bled from a guy once. I had to check out to make sure she was okay from his fingernails. Oh man. Ch- Ch- All right. Finkelstein's getting into this shit. Now he goes, do you know that uh, sheep back up when facing a cliff? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Came in here to promote promoting funniness. That's what that we want boy. here. That's, That's- it. See, see, even though uh, you and Duffy weren't getting along, we're, uh, we're glad to leave you along as long as you, uh, uh, that's long all, as you participate. That's all we want here at Openly Hostile Opinions is everyone to have fun, especially in a world where everyone gets offended. In a world <laughs> where everyone is so easily offended by everything. Uh, I'm sorry, ladies. I didn't know you had to deal with that so much. So, men out there, you listen to this, cut your fucking fingernails. Don't be, a, don't be some fucking cokehead. Yeah, don't don't be that guy. Um, don't be, nobody likes that guy. Sixteen. I can't agree with this because I hate feet. I fucking oh, hate yeah. feet. Um, oh, feet are gross. Feet are okay until you get to the toes, uh, and then it's just like, ah, oh, toes. They're so weird looking. Ah, uh, I hate feet. Some people have a thing. I I don't. I yeah. Don't. I just it's the toes I think that do it for me because uh, it's the like, whole thing. Yeah. Feet are just gross. Like like say I see a stripper or something like that, or someone that is wearing you know really high heels. Um, and just a little bit of the, the, like, uh, arch and like heels showing that's fine. But once they shirt toes, it's like, ugh. so I think that's what I hate about feet is the toes. It's just, they're like little fucking Vienna sausages. <laughs> uh, Ira says, uh, Ira Finkelstein says, what about rings on chicks? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Oh, like, like if they're shoving their fingers up your ass or something, maybe, <laughs> maybe that'd be a problem. I don't know. I don't like uh, I don't like rings in general. I don't think they're that good looking. I don't think they're that pretty. I don't know why people are into them, but uh, you know, that's that's the guy of me. Like, yeah. I don't uh, know. During a hand job, I've I've you know, girls have rings on. I've never felt them. I don't know. Unless I don't know. Um, I could see if maybe you know one had like sixteen on one hand, maybe. But uh, one of the worst experiences I had though is um, a girl was uh jacking me off i think i was like 16 (laughs) and she put antibacterial cream on my dick like hand it it was fucking horrible i don't think that sounds like a good idea oh dude it burns so fucking bad like you know the head of the penis is already pink this shit turned dark pink like it (laughs) fucking burned man like it looked like some jew burning a stove like it was horrible so women just spit on it if, if you're if you're you know fucking jerking that thing like trying to start a goddamn weed whacker, just spit <laughs> <on it. laughs> just, just spit on it. That's all you got to do. You don't need fancy lotions or anything like that. Just spit on it and then get on your knees and take the load in your mouth like a good girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, there's nothing hotter than a girl begging for semen. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. Blocked. If- <laughs> Sorry, I, I finally figured out. I was looking it up how to block people. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so where we, uh, yeah, uh, so 16 was take off your fucking socks. That was the thing. I don't, I know a lot of people out there that think having socks on during sex is weird. I personally don't. Um, I, I, I'm a sock guy. <laughs> socks on. Yeah, I love socks on during sex because I fucking hate feet. Yeah. yeah. Only thing it sucks in, sucks though, is if you're fucking standing up and you have hardwood floors. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, you start gliding around like Wayne Goretzky. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, going back to uh, one does not oops in the back door, that's how it starts. <laughs> you, I'll, uh, I'll tell you another another problem. I, I happen to be uh, vertically challenged, as some of you may know. I, I am all of 5'4", uh, or 5'5", five, five, depending on the day and the, the measuring stick. Uh yeah, so my wife 
is about the same height as me. But you see, I have short, stubby ass little legs and a normal sized human torso. <laughs> Whereas my wife is more proportional. Take my strong hand. <laughs> so my little short, stubby legs make that whole standing up thing a little bit difficult. So you, yeah, that's right. Your wife is taller than you. That yeah. makes sense. It's yeah. about the same. I know, about and that's the thing that sucks for me. If a woman can't bend over far enough, doggy style sex sucks. Like I love doggy style. I think it's the best fucking sexual position it's the best way to get anger out like you had a shit day at work you've just been a girl over you go to fucking town and you beat that shit up <laughs> you choke her you spit on her you call her mom whatever you got to do <laughs> man there's a, there's a little private war going on between duffy and finkelstein oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> i don't think they much care for each other the finkelstein duffy war <laughs> <laughs> like i said finkelstein you can stick around as long as you as long as you participate in the uh, discussion. Let's see here. So we got two left. Uh, like I said, there's 18 of them. Number 17. When switching from any position to doggy style, do not yell beast mode. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck would do that? I don't know, but it must happen a lot of playboys bringing it out. <laughs> Jay is like a corgi dog. <laughs> the fuck's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Duffy. Oh, that is hilarious. You are. You are like a corgi. Oh, I can't smile. It hurts. Fuck you. <laughs> Punch you in the mouth. You won't have to get any more teeth pulled. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> when I have time tonight, I am Photoshopping Jay's face on a corgi. <laughs> <laughs> I said, speaking of Photoshopping, I still have a great meme template I want to make, and we haven't gotten around to it yet. Yeah, me and Jay are going to do a uh, little social experiment, I guess, like that. Because for some reason, we want to know how memes get popular. So we're going to try to make our own meme and see if it just circulates. Yeah, uh, when we uh, when we post it out there, when you see uh, one of us on, on uh, you know, a meme template, share the fuck out of it. Yeah. I, want to, I want to try to promote this and see what happens. I just, I just don't get what makes a good meme to where people – where like the one that me and Jay have been seeing lately is the one where the girl's holding the guy's hand and he's looking at something else. Does it have a name? Meme. <laughs> yeah. Stupid if, meme of yeah, the week. If anyone watches memes, they should know what, it's, what I'm talking about. But it's a guy walking down the street with his girlfriend, and another girl walks by, and he's, like, stretching to look at her. Um, and it's just – it's not even that funny. It's just – it's really popular it's, for some oh, reason. Oh, I'm so sick of seeing it already. I know. It's fucking everywhere. You know what I hated for a while was the teleports behind you memes for a while. That was so stupid. Oh, yeah. Teleports behind you. It's nothing personal, kid. Like, oh, my <laughs> God. Fuck off. Oh, uh, yeah. Because, like, before that, the one I've always seen that I still see is the black guy pointing at his head. <laughs> yeah. That one was good. I, I know. Like that, that one was good. That, that one was had funny. some good, good moments. That was really funny. Uh, but last one here. Don't forget to include a tip when you pay. <laughs> that, that is true. All right, then. That is true. So, uh, yeah. So, Cab Fair Home's not good enough, huh? No. Uh, so, yeah, that was uh, Playboy's un. Um, spoken rules of sex. I thought that was pretty interesting, so I thought I'd come with that. That was good. I like that. That, uh, was, that pretty, was good. That was pretty good. Hey, uh, so, so a quick plug here. Uh, we just did last last week. We did our very first after party uh, show that we're gonna do once a month for our patrons only. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm gonna stuff your dead body in your burning Cadillac Eldorado. <laughs> what the fuck? Who said that? That would be Duffy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Duffy. What uh, would that portal do to you? <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, I am uh, talking about our Patreon-only after-party hangout. Uh, if any of you guys get a wild hair up your ass and want to become a, one of our patrons and support us for as little as a dollar a month, you can jump on and watch what we did last week because the archive of it is posted up on our Patreon site. Uh, it was pretty damn funny. We played a little game that we can't really do on our normal show because it's not the most, you know, sensitive to others. And uh, I ended up with cake up my nose. So if you guys want to see that, uh, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Yeah, it was actually a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Like it was said, a short, short little thing because we didn't have any live viewers with us. But Yeah. Um, we only have a couple of patrons now, but me and Jay for a while now we've been trying to just, you know, make Patreon more viable and stuff for people. Yeah, and, um, we're giving you a value. We're going to actually do some uh, exclusive content. So. Yeah, um, and if there's anything that, you know, if you want to sign up to be a Patreon and you really don't want to or – It's you, a patron. 
whatever on Patreon. Yeah, whatever. I know it's confusing. I fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck. I dropped out of high school for a reason. Whatever. Um, and you have maybe some opinions or anything or some suggestions of what you'd like to see on their Patreon. Uh, just let us know. Yeah. Uh, because we're just you know we're we're gonna just you know put on some extra content on there for anyone to make it worthwhile. Um, I think I've said this before, but I, I I'm gonna start vlogging. I think just uh, you know what's going on in my life. Um, what happens to your fucking cesspool of a mouth? Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> fucking, I don't know. Maybe I could have asked my dentist. I get another one pulled. Maybe I can ask my dentist so we can film it <laughs> and I can put it on here. Um, oh, I live in a really redneck area. I don't know. I was going to show some of that and film, you know, maybe all the oversized load things I see today. Nice. <laughs> uh, Duffy did our survey, by the way. Thanks, Duffy. That's for pod track. That's our, uh, that's, that's the thing that keeps our, uh, it gives us our statistics for how many people actually download and listen to our podcast. So thanks for doing that. Um, also, on a unrelated note, uh, another plug here. This episode is sponsored by the DNH Squad. It's uh, for any of you who, who are into fitness, exercising, and running. The DNH Squad is a online community for all things fitness related. So if you run or jog or play basketball or squash or swim or whatever it is you want to do and you want to connect to people and uh, or help loot during hurricanes, <laughs> loot during hurricanes. <laughs> hey, you need running shoes yeah. for it. Damn if right. you want to uh, connect with other people who are into the same things, uh, check them out. It's DNH squad dot com and you can uh, register for the forum there. They have some cool merchandise. They have blog posts to help along the way. Uh, lacrosse, yes, any kind of uh, sporting event or fitness there about anything. So if you're looking for a supportive group of people, they have a Facebook page, a Facebook group. So check it out, dnhsquad.com. It stands for Dreams Need Hustle. Do your dreams need hustle? Go to dnhsquad.com. That was beautiful, Jay. Why, thank <laughs> you. Jay, I think Jay's found his work in advertisement. <laughs> And uh, like I was just waiting for after that, I'd be like, "Now here is the subtlety, f <laughs> <laughs> the subtlety sounds of the '70s." <laughs> well, you know, you gotta you gotta be good at something. I might as well be good at hawking products. Yeah. Um, speaking of that, I don't know why this reminded me. Well, I guess because you were talking about athletics. But before the show, I was already talked at Jay about this. But uh, any football fans in the chat? Uh, yeah, football. <laughs> We were yeah! Me and Jay were talking about a little football. I play uh, fantasy football. Uh, 1-0, baby. 1-0. I won last year. I won 120 bucks. Fucking going for a repeat, baby. Um, but, yeah, I was telling Jay. So, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. I know. I know. I'm perfect. Um, <laughs> uh, so, I hated Tony Romo. Tony Romo was such a fucking miserable piece of shit to me. He once threw his helmet and that, too, was in <laughs> Yeah. Like... He was just a horrible, horrible quarterback. He's good when he wanted to be, but when he was bad, he was fucking horrible. Well, so, you know, any Cowboys fan out there know Des uh, Dak Prescott is now their quarterback. So Tony Romo couldn't get hired. <laughs> so he started doing – um. What's I, well, I'm so – Commentary. Commentary. Because you're on Christ. drugs. That's why. It's just ibuprofen 800. I'm just my, – my teeth are getting sore. <laughs> um, well, then shut up. I'm talking that guy. So <laughs> – <coughs> Excuse me. Uh semen. Uh so the internet is freaking out because I guess Tony Romo commentated his first game on CBS, I think it is, and they're calling him the football psychic because before each play he was calling exactly what they were gonna do, and he was usually right, like ninety percent of the time, probably even higher than that. I'd say like ninety eight percent of the time. Um, so apparently he's a better quarterback than we gave him credit for. That's the first thing I thought of. I was like, so he obviously, obviously knows what he's talking about. Um, so it just seems like he didn't care. That's what I get from him. Because the thing that pissed me off about him is he throw an interception, just walk off smiling like, ah, I'm fucking Gary Gaywood or whatever the fuck that cunt's name is. Um, so, but it's funny if, if any of you like football or anything, like check it out. It's all over the internet right now. It's, uh, just a mashup of Tony Romo fucking predicting every fucking play and he's doing offense defense like he's like this is gonna be a run to the left and it and it is uh he's like this is a blitz it was he even one of the plays uh they ran the ball on second down or third down and it became fourth down and he goes uh they're gonna run the ball here they're not gonna kick a field goal 
They're like, what makes you think that? He's like, they wouldn't have run the ball the previous play if they weren't going to go for it on fourth. And they went for it on fourth. Like, it was fucking crazy. So any football fans out there, look it up. It's all over the internet right now. I thought it was fucking hilarious. But Tony Romo, I still fucking hate you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so we're get, you're getting a little bit of little bit of shine in the a little bit of shade in the uh the, the chat here. What's that? Uh, I got uh plenty of time to study from the bench. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, okay. And uh he knew the plays. Yeah, of course he did. But it, it was just weird because like what no uh, there's plenty of commentators out there that have played football. You know what I mean? There's Madden um oh don't get me started on madden there's tony dungy uh there's so many of them uh troy aikman um just everything but like no one i don't know if they told tony to do this or like if he just did it and they weren't like hey man you're not supposed to do this stuff <laughs> but people like it i guess I, I guess they really liked it and i thought it was i don't know maybe he has more of a future in broadcasting because cbs isn't really coming out and saying if they liked it or not or what's going on with it so we still don't know if he has a job yet but yeah <laughs> i haven't really been watching much football this year i'm getting so disgusted with it i know football's fucking ugh. football's so stupid i mean they're getting to the point where the rules are getting so so ridiculous i know like if i was a ref like i would just not take it seriously because it's already a fucking joke i'd be like penalty offense for fucking someone in the ass like <laughs> It's just so It would be like Monster League football. <laughs> oh, man. I what need to buy game. a Sega Genesis. I've been fiending for some old school Sega and Nintendo games, man. Use an emulator. I mean, it's not the same, man. It's close. It's not the same. And actually, by the way, for all you nerds out there, it's National Video Game Day. Whoop, whoop. Tweet my nipples. Mm. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even fucking know it was there was a national video game day, but apparently there is the national everything day. I know. I remember last year uh the Steelers signed Michael Vick for their backup quarterback on National Dog Day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Steelers, really? You couldn't have picked another day. <laughs> Kibbles and Vick. Yeah. Whatever. He served his time or whatever like that. I, I didn't really know a lot about that story, but I guess it wasn't even him. He was just at his brother's house, and his brother was doing it, supposedly. I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the particulars of it. Everything's alleged anyway. So I know, yeah. exactly. Like, they're coming out now and saying Joe Paterno knew about the San Rapeski shit years and years and years before that, but who fucking knows? Like, like how would you know? Like, he, the guy's dead. Like, he can't fucking, you know... I don't know. Let's just be happy to piss on the corpse, I guess. Why not? Yeah, I know. And it, it just sucks that, you know... On Penn State campus, they removed the statue and put it in the library to remind everyone to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. No, I actually, I don't. I'm not a Penn State fan. Um, where I live, I'm sick of hearing about them. Uh, but I think Joe got the bad rap. <laughs> oh yeah. I never liked Joe. I never liked Penn State. I really don't watch college football. Uh, except for the cheerleaders for some uh, spank bank material. Spank bank. God, cheerleaders are fit, man. Holy fuck. Paterno caught Sandusky in the locker room. That's what they're saying. But you know what? Until you dig the man up and do a fucking seance to bring him back to life, how do you really know? <laughs> you know how you do a seance? You get a bunch of Milano bread and put it around him. You remember when he did those Milano bread commercials? No. You don't remember that? No. Oh, they were so funny. Do you know what Milano bread is? It's a brand name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've I he, thought Milano's were cookies. No, there, there's a bread company, though, called Milano, oh, too. Oh, okay. And he used to do Milano Bread Company commercials, and they were so stupid and gay. <laughs> but that's that, that's probably, like, inducted into the seance. Like, to, in order to r ri rise uh, Joe Paterno, you have to put Milano Bread around. <laughs> he heard the slapping of young boys' ass. Ugh. Oh, Jesus Christ, Finkelstein. <laughs> Finkelstein, oh man, that just—you're you're a good guy. We like you. <laughs> that just shows me, man. You can't judge Jewish people. <laughs> For God's sakes! <laughs> I, I, Stop insulting the few viewers no, we he have. No, has to be funny. He's Jewish. All Jewish people are funny because they write all of Hollywood's material. Look at Seth Rogen and all those Jews. Tuffy's ass. <laughs> Actually, oh, I gotta. Yeah. Speaking of Jewish people, I gotta. Uh, anyone out there? I know last week I talked about her, but this week I'm gonna mention it again. Haley Steinfeld. Mm. Oh, my God. She is so sexy. 
Hey, so before you go off on a fucking rant about I her again. I am obsessed with Haley Steinfeld. I don't know why, because I've never really thought I'd think Jewish women were attractive. But, God, I would snort her period blood. <laughs> like, clots. Good Lord, man. Clots and all. I don't give a fuck. Ugh, man. She just warms my genitals, man. I see a picture of her, and I'm just like, uh. <laughs> All right, oh, God, I, had to get, last... I had to get that out there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look her up. She's fucking hot. The uh, last time you got this all, all crazy about somebody was with Jennifer Lawrence. I fucking hate her now. Oh, of course you do. You <laughs> fickle bastard. No, like Jennifer Lawrence. I fucking loved Jennifer Lawrence. I thought she was funny. She was hilarious. Um, her movie Silver Linings Playbook, if anyone really likes movies. Uh, watch it. It's a fucking amazing movie. She was amazing. And then she got like all political and shit and like cut her hair like that fucking cunt that made fun of everyone for watching UFC. What was her name? Remember what I'm talking about? Uh, I, I can't fucking remember her name. Sorry, I was actually not paying any attention to you. <laughs> I'm trying to do so. J- I was trying Jay, to log Jay's in one shit. job on this show is to pay attention and have conversation, and you can't do that. <laughs> well, I'm trying to watch this. I'm trying to log into this. I'm trying to do that. He's Finkelstein lying. says Jewish girls have big boobs and thick bushes. It's wonderful. Big boobs are great. Thick bushes, not so much. And unfortunately, they have hairy arms, and that grosses me out. See, not not this the Haley girl. See, that's why I was like, I didn't really realize she's she was... She's Hollywood. She fucking waxes ah, man, that I shit. don't care, man. Like I said. Mm. But, uh, and she doesn't have big boobs. She's like 20-some years old, and she doesn't have big boobs. If you Google her real quick and look at her, her boobs aren't that big. She just has really nice, I don't know, I think it's her legs. I love her legs. Mm. I sound like a caveman over there. Yeah, you're, you're fucking gross. <laughs> but uh, like we were talking about Jennifer Lawrence. So, like, I thought she was cool as shit. And then she just started fucking being retarded. Like, she's like, I'm going to stand up for equal pay for women actors. And I'm like, so what? Instead of $250 million, you want 300 Like, the things, the things to fight for in life. <laughs> like, I guess when you just come that far out of reality, you just, you just, you and then and then the hurricane thing came out, and then I'm just like, okay, I'm done. Did you hear about that? No. She told everyone uh, that's affected by the hurricane, uh, you deserve it because it's God's way of punishing Trump supporters. And I'm like, ugh. I'm like, I'm like, it's okay to hate Trump, but don't don't wish uh. death upon people. Like, come on. Uh. And see, yeah, I just lost respect for it now. I just don't care that's anymore. That's a stupid thing to say. I, I mean, know. you know what? These are your friends, your neighbors, your – you know, your relatives, you know, just because they make poor choices doesn't mean that you can, like, yeah, wish harm upon them. And, and and it's just, it doesn't matter who you're talking about. If you hate Trump that much, if you even if you hate Obama or Hillary, don't wish death upon people. Like, I can't believe she said that. I was like, well, uh, last time I'm jerking off to her. <laughs> Do you understand that? <laughs> uh, broke my heart, Jennifer. Jennifer, you broke my heart. <laughs> well, since we're on the subject of movies, I'm going to try to squeeze this in before we run out of time here. Uh, did you guys hear about this? <laughs> Fuck you, Jay. Watch your mouth, boy. What did I say? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't remember doing nothing wrong. What, it, why does she have a picture of some baby? <laughs> I don't know. Amanda, are you okay? <laughs> how, how are things at home? <laughs> it's me when I see a titty. All right, anyway. <laughs> Did you see what Duffy just said to Finkelstein? <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus Christ. You two are, you two are awful. J- and, and Jason says you're a commie. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's, uh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, my fucking teeth hurt. <laughs> Any- <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll meet you down on Red Square. <laughs> anyway, so, so uh, apparently... Rather than admitting that maybe they maybe they just just might be making shitty movies, apparently Hollywood uh, Hollywood has decided that Rotten Tomatoes is is the reason why their movies are bombing. <laughs> uh, apparently Baywatch bombed because it had a low rating on Rotten Tomato. It had a low rating because who fucking cares about Baywatch? You know who cared about Baywatch? When, you know, 12-year-old people that were first, you know, getting the first load of semen filled up in their balls saw Pamela Anderson. That's when they cared, okay? And, you know, David Hasselhoff's hairy chest. 
That's what they don't give a fuck about Baywatch. Like, who in the fuck would remake that movie? Like, seriously. Like, I'd rather chop up pubic hair and snort it than watch that new fucking movie. Yeah, like, I like Jesus. The Rock, but come on. The Rock was good in Central Intelligence. You want to watch a good movie with The Rock? Central Intelligence with him and Kevin Hart was actually really funny. Yeah, it was funny. Too. I'm not a big PG-13 movie. Like, it, it depends. But I thought it was going to be gay, but it was fucking awesome. It was hilarious. This is a quote here. Uh, Doug Cruitt, a media analyst at Conan Company, wrote of the film in a research note, Our high expecta expectations appear to have been crushed by a 19 Rotten Tomatoes score. <laughs> well, here's a thought. Stop making bad <laughs> movies. And here's the thing. And we know this because, you know, there's been leaks of executives saying shit like this. Movies aren't really um, a thing of substance anymore. It's let's get these movies out as fast and as quick as we can. People will watch it and we'll make a lot of money off of it. Who cares if it bombs? Because they're gonna, you know, and that's why a lot of them, I actually play World of Warcraft with a guy that makes trailers for movies. Yeah. And you know why they put every single good part in the movie? It's because that's all people bitch about it's like oh they put all the good parts in the movie yeah but they don't care you know why because all those good parts in the movie still paid for you to be in that seat if you leave halfway into the movie you're still gonna watch the movie and you still paid for the seat so they don't give a fuck but you have all these executive there's no substance to movies anymore it's ridiculous it, it's not rotten tomatoes fault it's all your fault you fucking pieces of <laughs> shit make better movies God. Oh, my God. My wife updated her profile pic. <laughs> that's, that's fucking What'd she change it to? I, I don't even know what that is. What, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's horrifying is what it is. And uh, uh, Duffy says, uh, my 100,000 heart party, everybody except Ira are allowed to come in from 10 until 12 a.m. tonight. There you go. Uh, Jimmy wants to know if we've seen it. Uh, no, we did not. Not uh, yet. What I heard one bad thing about it i heard a bunch of good about it um everything good about it actually except i did hear one bad thing uh but it was probably just some teenage girl bitching because she's a cunt um well it's gonna be hard to top uh yeah top of course curry but of course but bill skarsgar seems to really have a creepy look to him now oh my god yeah i get the chills when they show the fucking you know gutter scene where you just like his face appears and he shows i i don't want to go near a fucking gutter <laughs> you oh, know, he, it, unless I'm throwing a body there after I'm done with her. Like, yeah, I, wa I watched the trailer, and uh, you know when Bill Skarsgård says, "Don't you want your uh, your boat? Uh -huh. Take it." <laughs> like, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's like uh, okay. Clowns. It's like I'll take the balloon. <laughs> no way, this one looks so much better. I don't know, man. Tim Curry had he played it right. Mm -hmm. He played it right. Uh, there's actually this picture floating around of Tim Curry um, on a break during it. Uh, it was in between scenes, and it's ringing out, and he's holding an umbrella, full makeup, full, you know, Pennywise makeup, he's and he's holding, a he's smoking a cigarette. It's awesome if you're if you're a big It fan. Uh, but yeah, Jimmy, uh, I heard only really good things about. It. I did hear one negative thing, and it was it wasn't really negative. It's just uh, they were saying it got old that he swore too much. Like I guess he says the f word like every other line in this movie, and I guess that it got on this person's nerve. But that's that's I yeah, like yeah whatever yeah. And, and and Jimmy, you have a you know northern accent, so I bet you love the fucking f word. Because <laughs> if I had a northern accent like you do, I'd say an f word all the time. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, um, I probably will see it. Uh, I love movies. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Great fucking movie. Anyone that hasn't seen that, check it out. It's a great cheesy movie. Uh, Jason, I don't know if you're watching, but Ashley, the neighbor's boyfriend, uh, showed me. This DVD, I watch it. It's called Black Devil Doll, and it is about a um, Black Panther guy, separatist. Uh, he gets electrocuted, and his body goes inside of a ventriloquist doll, and it's just basically him uh, in a ventriloquist doll fucking white bitches with huge tits. <laughs> <laughs> it is a crazy movie. It's so, so is a ventriloquist porno. Basically. Like, it shows this little wooden dick. He's like, it's so cheesy. Like, he's shooting loads all over bitches' faces, and it doesn't even look like semen. It's it's just white paint. Like, it just shows how much they cared. It was just, but it's called Black Devil Doll. And uh, for anyone that likes cheesy, horrible movies, just go watch it. Um, it's a funny movie. Jason, if you're listening, I really fucking enjoyed it. I thought it was fucking hilarious. 
All right. Uh, we got some so, some questions here in the chat or, or comments, I should say. There's a movie called uh, Clown. Check out Clown, he says. Okay. Uh, Ira says, I like Gummo. Gummo is a great movie. I agree. That's that's a fucking weird ass. It's a cult movie. Um, and uh, we got some questions about the phone call thing. Uh, yeah, we're not doing the calls right now, Jimmy. Um, we couldn't do it right. So we're not doing it all right now. Uh, it, we were having technical difficulties. We had some some negative feedback from it, especially when it comes to uh, the podcast listeners. Like we just can't get the levels and shit right. To, yeah, we to had be a lot of pod- here hear well. Yeah, because we have a lot of people that listen to our podcast on like Google Play and all that shit, iTunes. <laughs> so uh, they they just they didn't like it really because they couldn't hear the phone calls. It was too muffled. Jay, you know, actually did a really good job, and he built this thing to make them louder. Uh, but it still got a little muffled and stuff like that. And, and you know, it's partially just it, it's partially our bandwidth. It's not you know, like you said we need help with it. It's not just uh, a technical standpoint as far as our equipment is concerned. It's also just the fact like we just don't have enough bandwidth to, to support it quick enough. Yeah. To make it right. And plus, for some reason, uh, every OBS we use on different computers, we cannot not get skype to work and we want to use skype because it's less lag than google hangouts google hangouts has this delay and it just sucks especially if you're just listening to the audio on a podcast there's a bunch of delays it sounds stupid it's just we're gonna figure something out we we just we want to do it right yeah it's one of those things we can't do it right we're not gonna do it at all plus we'd almost like we're, we're getting um like fucking kenny <laughs> for example like calls every week and uh uh you know, it, it's like we almost need somebody to, like, screen the calls. Yeah, we don't of. have enough money for a secretary. <laughs> we need a black chick. We need a black chick like Robin, like Howard Stern. We need, we need Robin. Robin yeah. was not not the phone call screener. I know, but I'm just saying, we need someone like Robin so when we make racist jokes, she can laugh so everyone's okay with it. Like, like <laughs> don't get me wrong. I like Kenny and all, but Kenny's on drugs <laughs> of some kind. And... uh and he he says strange things. <laughs> yes, yeah, and, and speaking of clown movies, uh, there's another one that anyone wants to see. It's the uh, I forget who's in it. Um, I think Gold. I forget. Uh, but it's called um, Shakes the Clown. I think. Is oh the name yeah, of the movie. Shakes the Clown. That's a that. really good movie. It's about an alcoholic clown, and it's fucking hilarious. Um, yeah, but I think that's about time. I made it through the whole show. Uh, Jimmy says, uh, the screener, have you watched our show here and there? Uh, unfortunately for me, you guys do it past my bedtime because I'm an old man and need to go to bed early. Oh, I'm farting in the studio. I, I do watch it, but I play WoW at the same time, so it's like I don't I, – I listen to it more than I watch it. But, uh, yeah, because I got to I, – I have a headset on. I have to listen to my raid and stuff like that. Anyone that plays World of Warcraft can understand, but uh, – yeah, we we get we got to – well, Chelsea's volunteering to be our secretary. Maybe we can figure that out one of these days. And not to mention I'm not so polite. That's true. We need yeah. an angry one. We yeah, an we just one. need somebody who will pass through uh, people who have something to contribute to the conversation and reject those or don't. Mm-hmm. Definitely. But, yeah, I made it through the whole show. My teeth are starting to get sore now, so uh, I think we're going to call it quits. Yeah, yeah, it's about that time, you know. So, uh Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Amanda, if you're still watching, uh, I'll go home and we can have our own secret ballot after the show. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, Amanda, if you're still watching, uh, I'll be home right after the show. We can have our own secret ballot. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I thought you said ballerina or something. I was like, what? <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Well, well, yeah. Hey, thanks for jumping in, Finkelstein. We uh, yeah, fun. we had uh, fun with I you. thought that was cool that you came in to promote stuff and then <laughs> you, you just... started jumping in and joining the yeah. conversation. Yeah, you're cool, man. Jump in anytime. We're all right with it. Even if you and Duffy don't get along so good. Yeah. So next week <laughs> I'm getting my stitches out. So uh, I should be in a lot better condition. So we'll have the beer of the week. But unfortunately, again, the week after that, I have to get my other side ripped out. So it's probably not going to be a beer of the week. Uh, but I just, I had to get these teeth done. Pretty it soon, was, Casey's going to be drinking steak through a straw. Yeah. Like, I had, I've been putting this off so much because of money and doing the show and stuff like that. I don't have a lot of free time. Like, I'm doing something every fucking day of the week. Um, but what do you, did you just fart? <laughs> I did, and it's fucking rank. <sighs> that gets in my stitches. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> All fucking right, guys. smell's gonna get my stitches i'm gonna taste it All but right. no uh thanks again for everyone uh have a good one god bless um fuck jewish people uh <laughs> and remember remember show sponsored by dnhsquad.com for anybody who's into fitness go to dnhsquad.com 
All right. We'll see you all next week. Have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>